What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It is me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat. Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming at you once again for another special edition of OTR. That's right. OTR is back on its original day Tuesday for a big show because I'm excited about something in the fast food world for the first time in a while, baby. And that is at McDonald's. I'll be right back for some food, folks, and fun with you on this special edition of OTR. You are looking live at McDonald's here on the corner of Henderson Corner Road and Frederick Road in Germantown, Maryland, right up the hill from the Capital One, and then there's an Exxon over there and a beer and wine store. I mean, where else would we be here in the uh, Republic of Crescentia, which Maryland was supposed to be called, without a beer and wine store, right? Anyway... McDonald's, I am here today to check out something that they have decided to bring out in the middle of the state of pandemia that we are in to hopefully alleviate some of the stress and strain that we have going on in our lives right now. And it's something that is new for the first time in like 35 to 40 years. You know, they have not altered this very much. And that is their Chicken McNugget. There's a new McNugget, guys. And that McNugget is the new spicy Chicken McNuggets. 10-pack uh, here is what I got. And that cost me $4.59. I don't know how that differs from the regular 10-piece nugget, but I know that uh, on the app lately, I have been abusing the daily deal of a 10-piece regular nugget for 2 bucks. So definitely more than that, that's for sure. And also they've introduced a brand new spice, or rather sauce, high, mighty hot sauce for the spicy chicken McNuggets. They gave me two of those, but one of them was already busted open, so I'm not sure about the safety of that one. But uh, we'll try the other one out. I also got some sweet and sour. I didn't want to ask for anything more because the lady looked like I hit her mama or something when I asked her for the sweet and sour. Anyway, I also got a free large fry from the app because they were doing that gimmick where if you buy a large fry, or buy, rather buy anything, you can get a large fry for free. So that's cool. All right, let me go ahead and open this bad boy up and show you what it looks like. All right, gang, you've got what they call their spicy chicken McNuggets right there. Looking good, looking very red and angry compared to the regular Chicken McNuggets. They've apparently got a panko coating that uh, has cayenne and other pepper seasonings in there. And then you've also got your Mighty Hot Sauce, which has uh, chili peppers and a couple of other things mixed together. So it should be an interesting ride, to say the least. Hope to check out this right after this when I see you again on OTR. All right, gang, I am back, and I am ready to try out these hot and spicy chicken McNuggets. Spicy chicken McNuggets, I guess, is what they're officially called. Show those ne next to my noggin the way I always do. Ten delicious nugs there. That's what Wendy's calls their spicy nuggets anyway, is nugs. And, of course, I'm not even sure Burger King's nuggets are chicken because they don't usually even call them chicken nuggets. I think they just call them nuggets. So... Yeah, and they're usually really cheap and taste like water. Hopefully, we don't have that going on here today. And hopefully, I really like these spicy chicken McNuggets. I'm going to go ahead and try them sans sauce first and then check out a couple sauce options, if you will. Go ahead and get one of these round ones here. Take a look at the egg-shaped one. There you go. Take a bite. Okay, after a couple of nuggets, I now realize that there is a bit of a zing here. Um, definitely not like burning hot, not scorching my tongue or anything like that, not making me sweat, not making my nose run. Nothing like that, but in terms of an alternative to the standard Chicken McNugget, I'd say so far so good. And it definitely is leaving a little bit of a sizzle on my tongue, just a little tiny bit. So that's good. Let me go ahead and check out this mighty hot sauce here, guys, because... I'm excited about that. I remember about, you know, golly, probably close to 10 years ago now, they came out with a, thank you for being so loud behind me, but anyway, they came out with a um, range of new sauces, including the Habanero Ranch, if I'm not mistaken. That was really good. They got rid of that. I think they kept around their chili sauce from that era, and a couple other, the new ones, like the buffalo sauce, 
But uh, this is the first new sauce since then that I know of, other than that Rick and Morty crap, which wasn't even new. Got a sweet Thai chili scent to it almost. Working with some cayenne for sure and other chili peppers is all they tell us, really. There's some dip on there. Let me check it out. Now that is one of the spiciest things I've ever had at a McDonald's, that's for sure. That's sauce. Mm. Definitely has a little bit of that sweet Thai chili that I, I mentioned, but wow. It's almost like a Thai chili meets a hot buffalo sauce. And I mean a hot one, because it's got, that's definitely leaving some scorch marks on the back of my tongue. And uh, yeah, uh, just a slight level of uncomfortability, but nothing nothing beyond uh, the realm of imagination or anything here. Let me go ahead and try one of these with the sweet and sour sauce, which is probably one of my traditional favorites, along with the hot mustard, uh, which I did not get today. But I'm going to try those eventually on here. I'm definitely having these again. Let me go ahead and take a bite. I don't know if you noticed, but I had a little wipe out there. The container slid off my lap, got a little bit of sauce on my seat. So uh, that breaks a streak. I haven't gotten any sauce on this particular seat during an OTR yet, but oh well. Hey, it works good with the sweet and sour too, because sweet and spicy is really good together. Um, I dig that a lot too. These nuggets are good, guys. Uh, $4.59, not too much, I guess, for 10 nuggets. But uh, I think I'm going to be exploring a 20 pack in my future. Um, how do you build these from the bottom to the top? Basically, these are a perfect incarnation of a spicy McDonald's Chicken McNugget. They taste like a Chicken McNugget that is now spicy. So, with that said, they've really knocked this product out of the park. Um, and if they can get these on some of the twofer deals or something like that, at some point, that's going to be really extra special. And that's when you're going to be seeing me hit McDonald's pretty hard, guys. Uh, you got the same, you know, white meat chicken that's in there or whatever. I'm sure it is chicken and it's not the pink goo that you see on the uh, commercial or on the um, internet. But either way, it tastes good, so I don't care. If it is pink goo, it's the best tasting pink goo I've had in a long time. I'm going to go ahead and give these things a full thumbs up today on OTR. They are McNuggets. They are spicy. They are crunchy, crispy, juicy, tasty. They check all of the uh, marks there, except for cheap, I guess, because they're not that cheap. But they're okay. They're okay. You know, uh, they're commensurate with other 10-piece nuggets out there, I guess. And that sauce is pretty good, too. I could see that sticking around. Um, you know, it's interesting they decided to call it Mighty Hot Sauce, considering they used to have the Mighty Wings. But anyway, that being said, my battery is getting low. I didn't get to charge it fully before I went out today because it was like a last-minute decision. How are you all doing? Let me know in the comments down below. Great to see you guys. Hopefully I'll see you again real soon. Got some other things I'm trying to do for Roy Rogers coming up in the very, very soon-ish uh, uh, time period for breakfast. So I'm definitely trying to get on that like right away. And other things, uh, you know, trying to express my creativity throughout this pandemic with you guys. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're being smart. Wear your mask. And make sure that you wear it over your nose. Because guess what? Oxygen comes out of your nose too. Alright, so it's snot and other germs. So, yeah. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, check us out on social media. The Facebook group. Over 1,100 of the coolest people in the world are in that group. And you should be too. Why aren't you? Check me out on Twitter. At Brandon Reich SAS. You can also check out my Instagram. Although right now it's kind of down. Because I don't have the password. I don't know. Long story. But anyhow. Check it out. There's some good pictures on there, even though I'm not contributing to it at the very, very moment. But I will again very soon. Also, if you really want to, you can drop a couple she shekels in the piggy bank over at the Patreon. But I'm not really encouraging that right now because I'm not really giving anything extra out for the effort. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you very soon on the next special edition of OTR. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to get all the latest videos, ring that bell to be notified. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.